morning. This is David Parker with Compton EdTech, and today I want to give you a primer on how to get started with Minecraft and the Active Citizenship Challenge. Now, the Active Citizen Challenge is one of those grandiose Minecraft challenge challenges that was introduced in the video that I put on the webpage. You can go to the Compton USD Compton uh, K12 webpage to look to look that up in further detail. But this is the challenge that supports that. Uh, for those of you who've never used Minecraft before, your first step is going to be to go to minecraft.edu, I'm sorry, to myeducation.minecraft.net. And from there, you're going to want to download Minecraft to your, to your device. Now, if you're using a school device, a school device, you will probably need access to be able to download it to your school computer. If you have an iPad, you should be able to get this through the self-service prompt. Just go into self-service, download Minecraft, uh, log in as a teacher, and you should be able to use that. But from a desktop computer, the experience looks more like this. You go... You open up Minecraft.net, and it'll give you this screen. If you've never used this product before, you want to sign in or create a login, and you will notice that when it logs you in, it's going to log you in as Compton.k12.ca.us. Please do not use ComptonUSD.net. That uh, this is a Microsoft product and they are looking for Microsoft credentials. So as long as you're signed into Outlook, you should be able to get this prompt. Otherwise, just use your email um, address and everything and you should be able to log in here. So once I log in, I'll get this screen. It'll say, you know, you're going to sign in. You're going to tell it that you're an educator during the initial prompts and everything and you'll get an educator's account. So the challenge that you're looking for is going to be the active citizen challenge. Now I can type that in here, active citizen, but what fun would that be, right? I can type that challenge in here and look for it and it should come up. You'll see that here. You'll want the resources for that. So when I click on that, it'll give me this page. Now again, teaching in the classroom, you might want to familiarize yourself with the challenge or better yet, as if this is your first time ever using Minecraft, what I would probably do is go on the um, training page, which I will include in this tab here. I will include that in here, teacher training resources, um, and go through that and get familiar with the Minecraft, um, learning Minecraft. You have three challenges. You can earn badges for each of those three. And then eventually you'll end up with the Microsoft Certified Teacher Badge. Again, it's a good way to introduce yourself to 21st century learning. And then from there, you get access to a lot of different resources. There are Minecraft lessons pre-built that you can use to differentiate your instruction, add to your centers, and keep your classroom a little bit more interesting and engaged. So again, I will include this document with this email. So what you've done, you should have gone, you've created an account, you've downloaded this to your, you've downloaded Minecraft to your personal device, be it your computer at work, your work computer, or your school um, iPad. So you familiarize yourself with the training resources. Uh, that means you've just done a couple of the tutorials. So when a, when a student asks you if, how to move around, you can at least say, use this key to move around. Now you want to go through and add the Active Citizen Challenge. And that's not very hard either, because again, I'm going to include that on this paper. So go to the search bar, you can do that, or just click this, Active Citizen Challenge, which I will give you, and it'll give you the challenge. If you want to open it, you can open it here in Minecraft. So again, 
when you click on that it'll open the world it'll open this in minecraft you may have to up here at the top open tell it to open minecraft education edition but that's no problem and if you can see my other screen it opened up on my other screen And you'd be able to use that. So no problem. So again, use that. It'll get you where you're trying to go. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back because now it's not about us. It's about the students. So being able to share this with my class is very simple. Right here, after I've gotten everything loaded and I've trained and I've looked at it, I'll click here, I'll click share or assign. You'll notice that you'll get, you'll get a link and you'll also get a prompt to join it to Google Classroom. Let me put this back. That music on the other end, that's Minecraft open on my other screen. I'm going to exit that real quick. So share or assign. You'll notice you'll get a Google Classroom prompt here. When you click that, it'll open up your Google Classrooms, and you can simply choose the class to assign that to. And you can share that world so your students can open it up with their iPads and get to working. So let's re let's revisit this. You create, you're going to start off by creating a world or creating an account. You're going to do a little bit of the teacher training because those resources are already there. And then you can go through and all of the lessons that you'll need, I've already linked them right here on this document. So you'll open that document. And from this page, you can open it and play the challenge yourself or assign it to your students. Now, also keep in mind here, this is a full lesson plan. It tells you what is what standards are being covered, the guiding ideas, the student activities. All of that is here for you. For those of you who need to look that over, if you're old school, you need to print it out. It's here. You can print this out as well. OK, so it says I know it says estimated time about an hour. I wouldn't give your kids just an hour because I, we had one student to make something really elaborate last year. And we know it took him a long time. So, you know, distribute this to your students, help them to become familiar with what an active citizen is. And, you know, you guys can probably bounce some ideas off of each other, how to address this challenge, uh, whether you want to do it as teams or whether you just want to do it individually. I'm pretty sure you'll probably have to work individually. But that's that. I hope this helps. I'm going to send this. I want to send this document once again in the email. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to address those, perhaps um, do some other training or mount some other ideas. Thanks again. This is Dave Parker with Compton Ed Tech. Have a great day.